This is the Red Magic 6 Pro, the flagship gaming phone from Nubia this year. It equips world first 165Hz display, providing players the ultimate mobile gaming experience. I personally have watched a lot of reviewers praising how good the phone is for gaming, while a majority of them don't even play games on mobile. For someone like me playing video games on the phone for a living, I spent two weeks playing and testing on this device so that I can give you guys a real review on things I like and don't like. The first thing I'm going to talk about is the 6.8 inch AMOLED display. You can switch in between 60Hz, 90Hz, 120Hz, and 165Hz refresh rate to your liking. And the experience of playing on it is so smooth if your favorite games support higher frame rate other than 60. I do notice the increase of smoothness when I switched from 120Hz to 165Hz. But from 144Hz last year's model to 165Hz, the increase is neglectable. This screen also has a 360Hz multi-touch sampling rate, which gives me one of the best screen responsiveness. Not to mention the single touch sampling rate is 500Hz. Well, I find it's quite interesting. Because it's just pure marketing, since most of the game require playing with at least two fingers. The only scenario that may benefit is when you do something like this. The updated shoulder triggers with 400Hz touch sampling rate is actually very responsive to use. The position of the triggers are on point neither too far or too close. It will definitely make mobile players satisfied, if that's what you're looking for. As for the building turbo fan, I have mixed the feeling about it. On the one hand, I appreciate it does a good job cooling down the film. On the other hand, it has this high pitch of the noise when running full load. If you like to play games without the earbud and are sensitive to those kind of noise, this is something you need to consider. One of the features I like about the Red Magic 6 Pro is the brand new charging separation mode. It directly pulls your charging power to the screen, limiting the heat on your battery. This not only relieves the hot problem when charging while playing, but also effectively prolongs the battery life. Now, let's talk about things I don't like, and hope Nubia can improve from next system update or even Red Magic 7 Pro. Having headphone jack on the phone nowadays actually saves mobile gamers' life, and I really appreciate Red Magic 6 Pro has one. But position of the port on this device is just not ideal. It must be designed by someone who do not play games on mobile. The cable just got in the way if players try to use the shoulder trigger buttons. For a beast gaming phone like this, there should be no compromise. In the Chinese Tencent version of Red Magic 6 Pro, they actually have really good built-in mirroring software. It works seamlessly with your PC by using just one USB Type-C cable. For content creators and mobile streamers out there, it's just so easy and convenient to record and stream in that way but we don't have this function in the global version. Hope this can be added in the next system update. Lock touch is the function preventing you accidentally pull out a task menu while playing games. But if your controls on your favorite games are on top of the edge of the device, there's very noticeable touch latency when enabling this function. I couldn't play PUBG Mobile due to this issue, as I just shoot slower than my enemies, even if I press the fire button in time. Red Magic 6 Pro actually added some cool features for games like PUBG Mobile. It has aim assist, Hunting mode, which makes you spot snakes easily.
And you can even customize the sensitivity of the gyroscope in the game enhancement setting. However, PUBG Mobile is still not optimized on this device. There is no 90 FPS yet, and the phone is out for nearly a month. So I recorded some hand cam gameplay on Game for Peace for you guys to see. You can also check the FPS in game here. Okay, come in.我没有油了 with all features and hardware packed, Red Magic 6 Pro is no doubt a beast of gaming phone, even if it's not perfect. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this device. I also recorded some wild rift clips in the end for those of you who are interested. Like and sub if you want to see more videos coming from me. I'm Shifan, see you in the next one.
attack. <laughs> 